Uh, Keith, a uh, 2-0 win here tonight against uh, Dundalk in a ground where teams have found it hard to get points this season. Yeah, no, absolutely. Dundalk were, have been in great form and we were very wary coming here tonight of the threat that they posed, particularly here, here at home in Oreo, particularly uh, with the, the bounce that they've got since John's arrival at the club and how well they've been playing. So um, we got ahead in the game. We, we stressed, we stre- we've, we're disappointed in terms of how many clean sheets we've kept this year. We, we're, we're scoring goals. We have an attacking uh, threat to our game and, and in transition and in build up play. Uh, we've, we've, we've got good op- options um, you know, in terms of um, players, attack, offensive players, but we're a little bit disappointed with the amount of clean sheets that we've kept. And I think today the boys got after that in terms of the second half of the season, keeping a clean sheet, giving us a platform to play. We got ahead in the game. You, the, you talk about transition play, transition play, and that opening goal was fantastic. For the fantastic. opening goal, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. From from Dundalk's corner, we break and uh, you know good execution. You know Christy Patterson feeds the ball to Connor Parson. He doesn't panic, and uh, he takes his goal really well. And and they're the demands we put on the players. We want more goals from Connor. We want more assists from Christy. Um, so we're pleased with that tonight. But ultimately, from a team perspective, the game wasn't pretty uh, both sides struggled a little bit at times um, it's difficult on this pitch to play uh, any sort of con- it's not conducive for football um, a free-flowing football in that sense but uh, we got ahead and we won the game we kept a clean sheet so it's a great start back after the little break yeah that second goal before half time was a huge boost as well it meant you come out in that second half and the real target presumably was to stay organized and stay comfortable in the game yeah, a great finish by Dean McMenamin um, into the bottom corner. Um, you know, he backed himself uh, in that scenario. Confident, you know, Dean has been really, really good since he's come back into the team. His attitude um, has been fantastic and he's shown his value uh, to us again tonight. Second half, we, we stressed the importance of trying to play the game in the opposition half. I think we restricted the dock to maybe um, a free kick effort on, on goal. They didn't have a huge amount of goal scoring opportunities in the second half. They're, they're always a threat with Daryl Horgan, with Robbie Benson in their team. You know, good, good players, good offensive players, and, and they'll take advantage of any defensive lapses. But thankfully, we, we kept a clean sheet tonight. Boys were full in concentration, and yeah, listen, it's a great start back. Great night for you tonight. Uh, Shamrock Rovers beaten by Sligo Rovers. You're three points clear of them now into third position. Yeah, results um, have been positive for us tonight. You know, not I don't care. I don't know what we have in terms of games left. Fourteen games left yeah. in the season. Um, you know, so there's a long, long way to go in this league. Anything can happen. Results week on week. You know, don't don't take you by surprise anymore. So, uh, the table is what it is for now. We're delighted to come away here to get the win in a difficult venue. So we're pleased with that. Yeah, we were talking before the game, and we were talking about the expectations before you came into the season and how you'd exceeded them. Now that you're in third, is that what you're going to be telling the players? That's where you want to be, where you want to stay. Listen, we're focused on what's next, and that's yeah. that's that's important. And I know I, I can give you the stock answers, uh, and I will. Um, we're not getting carried away. We're not looking downwards. We're not looking sideways. We're focused on our objectives and what's what's next. So we've a big, big game against St Pat's. Uh, next Thursday at home hopefully we'll have a big support because there will be a big travelling support from from St Pat's I'm sure a great game to look forward to and and that's what our focus is on the the next game purely well done tonight Keith thank you